כל פג הוא עולם ומלואו, אין כאן פג שהוא דומה לשני. וכל אחד עם הסיפור שלו ועם העבר שלו. Sometimes parents look at the machinery around it and they wouldn't see the baby. For us, we see only the baby. We look at those tiny babies, not, not as just babies, but as a whole person. I think the experience of a parent in the NICU is one of shock and awe. They're looking at a little, little baby with lots of tubes and wires. And what we try to do is we try to break it down for them. We try to explain how it's helping their baby to survive and to recover. And over time, the parents begin to understand what it is and to appreciate it and to make peace with it. Whilst making this film, I was privileged to experience an inspiring team of doctors and nurses whose selfless dedication to healing the physical suffering and emotional pain of others truly epitomizes what Laniardo Hospital stands for. I met families whose lives will forever be touched by the loving care and tenderness they received from this unique medical staff. The founder of Laniardo, a Holocaust survivor, desired that the neonatal unit be the first department to be built in a hospital created on a foundation of compassion for all mankind. He envisioned the large number of babies that would be born there, who he saw as part of the rejuvenation of the Jewish people following the destruction in Europe. Really, you cannot grasp the greatness of this person. The story of the Rebbe is amazing. After such tremendous loss of his wife and children, that he decided that his mission is to establish a hospital that would take care of women and children and eventually all of the other specialties. The Rebbe's spirit is undoubtedly the main force in the Leonardo Hospital until today. I started here with 150 births a month, and we have now about 600 to 700 births a month. You need a neonatal intensive care unit because about five to seven percent of all the newborn will need that department. The work is really intensive. You have to give your neshume, your soul, when you are working with those children because they demand you around the clock. We invest a lot of ourselves, both time and emotion, into our profession. We really take a baby from the beginning and nurture the baby and the family until they go home. אחרי שההורים נכנסים לפגייה, ואני עושה להם שיחה. ואני מסבירה להם שבעצם התינוק שלהם זה התינוק שלנו. ונחבק ונהיה איתם כי אנחנו פה בשביל לטפל בילדים. כל אימא זה אחרת. בהתחלה מאוד uh, קשה לה לנגוע בו, ואנחנו יודעים אותה לנגוע בו. הוא קטנצ'יק, והיא צריכה להכיר אותו וללמוד לראות אותו. אני בפירוש מרגישה שזו השליחות שלי בחיים האלה, להיות, לתת, לתמוך. זה לא קל, אבל כל פעם שאני רואה ילד הולך הביתה, זה נותן לי כוח להמשיך. בזכות הילדים שלי, אני עובדת במקום עבודה מקסים. אלה שטרנברג gave birth twice at Laniardo. Both times emergency procedures in week 30. Her son Sharon weighed 830 grams, and six years later, Galia was born a mere 20 grams more. The experiences she went through opened her eyes to a world that touched her heart, and that changed the direction of her life forever. והחלטתי שזה מה שאני רוצה, וזה הייעוד שלי בחיים. אשפוז בפגיה זו דרך מאוד קשה. מרגישים פחד, הם עוברים משבר. כשאני מתחילה לספר את הסיפור שלי בקצרה להורים, שאני אימא לפגים, זו תקווה. מאוד חשוב לתת תקווה, שזה לא סוף, זאת רק התחלה. זאת התחלה של החיים. אני בן אדם אופטימי, אני תמיד רואה ורוד. I see my mother's work and I can't 
stress how deeply I appreciate her. It's beyond my understanding how she can deal with those things that she sees. She's a strong woman, she's like a superwoman. בת שלי, בעקבות מה שהיא עברה אחרי שהיא נולדה, יש לה בעיה בריאותית. ילדה מקסימה, ילדה מצחיקה מאוד. יש לה את המגבלות שלה הפיזיים, אבל אנחנו עובדים איתה מגיל אפס. היא רוכבת על סוס מגיל שנה וחצי. היא עושה הידרותרפיה במים, בבריכה. יש לה מורה שהיא, שהיא לומדת איתה. היא עברה בחיים שלה. אין סוף אשפוזים בבית חולים. כל פעם יש לנו משהו חדש. אני מאוד גאה באשתי, פשוט כל הכבוד לה. אני שמח שאשתי חלק, מ... חלק מהצוות הזה, בלניאדו. המקצוע הזה זה בול בשבילה. מחלקת פגים היא מצוינת פשוט. הצוות שלנו הוא משפחה קרובה מאוד. עם כל השמחות, אנחנו ביחד. והאחראית שלנו אתי, האימא שלנו. החברה הכי טובה שלנו. וזה פשוט תענוג לעבוד במקום כזה. There definitely is something special here. The mothers really can sense it. עם כל הקושי מסביב, הפגיעה בלניאדו היא מקום שמח. במילה אחת, אהבה. As a community hospital owned by a non-profit organization, Laniardo does not receive government funding for special projects, new equipment and research. Instead, it relies solely on private donations to fund these essential developments and requirements that enable the hospital to progress. One such project is the new but yet to be completed neonatal intensive care unit, situated within a specially constructed building that is attached to the mother and baby medical center. Its creation had been made possible when in October 2010, Albert and Agossa Reichmann came to Laniardo for the opening of the new cardiology facility that they had kindly dedicated. Immediately following the ceremony and celebrations, Mrs. Reichmann requested to visit the babies in the NICU. That's what she wanted to see. She said it was important, the preemies, the neonatal, and to talk to see what was going on. She was happy that the cardiology department was finished and it looked like really nice. And she wanted to continue. She said, okay, we finished one project. Let's see what we could do some more. When the Reichmans were told that plans for a much larger, secure and modernized facility were prepared and ready, they committed themselves to support this important project to help it come to life. Over the next few years, thanks to the Reichmans and other major donors, the core infrastructure of this building was completed. But now it stands an empty, fortified shell awaiting final funding so its full potential can be realized. We're standing in a reinforced, extremely strong building that's built to protect us against rockets, against biological and chemical warfare. This building is one big bomb shelter. Today, any new construction other than ambulatory services or departments have to be protected. So we knew from the beginning this will take us a lot longer and more money. This is a building that was built to help us in the land of Israel and which will enable us to keep our babies here within the NICU without having to move them in a time of war. In addition to safety concerns, the main issue facing Laniardo's NICU today is a severe lack of space in an outdated location that has been outgrown due to the greatly increased local population. Once we start to limit the space between the babies, we increase the chances of infection and we worry that an infection could, God forbid, break out and spread between babies. There's also an issue with the narrowness of the hallways and the storage space around it, where we have to transport a baby. It involves a lot of maneuvering, difficulty going across tight corners. We enjoy to do what we're doing there, but you know, it's very hard to do it because it's too small. When my mother wants to hug the baby and to feel him, or maybe to pump milk for them, she needs a place and we don't have it. Some babies are not going home. Sometimes they dying and we need the place for the, these people to, to be with the baby until the end. I hate to speak about money, but this is what we need. We have to take care of the baby here, change all of this to, to life. 
having a new NICU will be able to provide the parents more space to spend time at the baby's bedside to participate with the rounds. They can sit outside of the NICU to have some privacy, to have some quiet time to try to regroup and to support each other and to support the other families. A brighter, more light environment should hopefully lower the level of stress both to our staff and to the families. I have so much gratitude towards the Reichman family who saw the need for us to build a newer, bigger, more advanced NICU and who took charge and gave the money to get us to where we are today. Um, given that, I would like to ask each and every one of you to dig down and to see how you can help us to complete this building sooner rather than later so we can quickly move our babies from this small space that we have now to the spacious and beautiful future NICU.